Here we have two Nintendo Switch boards that came in from U-Break iFix. They constantly ship stuff to us from many of their chains, and they are very good customers on our e-commerce website. Let's read what they wrote here for this ticket. Sent it for a charging port to another shop and came back and not working. Looks like power IC, video IC, charging IC was replaced. Have another one switch I sent with, and yes, they did send two boards. Looks like they tried the same thing as the other one before they didn't put some of the chips back. All right. Okay, somebody got us <laughs> sweets. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the customer came in and brought those to us. We fixed his tablet. He just came to pick up. And uh, great, awesome. And I'll have some chocolate later. But I still did not have breakfast and it's 133. I just want to finish with those boards and then I'll have something to eat and then of course some chocolate. Let's take a look at the board to see what's going on. So this is one of the boards that they mailed over. I'm going to start from the far right here and it doesn't look like the BQ chip was changed on this board. Let's quickly test and see if we see anything obvious. Meter in diode mode and I just want to randomly test some caps here. And no issues. And uh, we're going to quickly test this component for continuity. And it's good. And look at what we have here. Look at what we have here. Mm. We're going to have to go over this chip. We do not know how the soldering is like. I see three missing components. One, two, and three. Anything else? So we're gonna go over the chip and we're gonna put those three components back on from another donor board that we have. And let's continue with the inspection to see if there's anything else. Okay, this part of the board is good. And we're going to flip the board to see if there's anything on the back. And do we have missing components here too? Let me take a look at a donor board, which is this one here. This strip has been changed and it's not aligned. You can tell by looking at this edge and this edge, they should be even. So we need to go over this chip. And uh, I'm very optimistic that we can get this done. And what's this over here? I do not know if there's anything wrong with this chip, but it's chipped from the top. That could happen if it was touched by mistake. But it shouldn't be a big deal. All right, let's start with the front and then we'll do the back. And we're going to use our amazing board holder. I'm going to be working on it like this. I can switch between this and using the magnetic board holder, but for now I have this on the bench and I'm going to be using this one. <laughs> if I'm working on changing the USB-C port, I would rather use the magnetic board holder because it gives me more room to pull down on the port. The magnets are a bit high. But for this job, I'm going to use the big board holder. And let's start with this chip. And let's apply flux. And people up to this day, they ask, which flux I'm using. This is the Amtec 559. You can find it off our website, northridgefix.com.
click on shop or search 4559. All good, and I just want to apply a small blob in the center. Just like this, or just like that. Now I'm assuming the chip is good. I'm quickly assuming that the chip is good. Hopefully this is a good chip. Okay, so let's get rid of the axis and then we'll go over it one more time. And the axis is caused by the solder blob that we put in the center. And let's finalize the process. and now let's prep the pads so we can put those components back on so let me quickly measure those components just for future reference meter in ohms mode and let's see the value of those resistors this one is 100k 100k so these are 100k each and this looks like a size 201 SMD component. Let's start with this cap. Okay, so this is good. Hello, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Do you have any tablets here? Uh, what do you mean? Okay, so this side is done, all good. I do not see anything else missing. I do not see anything out of place. I do not see any solder bridges. And the chip is soldered on perfectly. Let me do a quick clean up here. And we'll move over to back of the board. Very nice, very nice. Let's go over this chip here. You can see that the chip is not aligned. Look at how short the pins are from here, the pads, and look at how long the pads are from here. Look at the distance, the empty distance from here and the one from here. So the chip is not aligned. We're gonna take the chip out we're gonna prep the pads and we're gonna solder it back on assuming the chip is in good working condition and let's add a tiny solder blob in the center here and solder that chip back on My sister just gave the chocolate to the mailman. The chocolate that we got in this morning, she gave it to the mailman. And 
think we should be all good. We should be all good. Okay, and the soldering is better than factory. And we should be good. If all is good, the console should work. One way to find out. Let's also clean the rest of the board because I see flux on a lot of areas on the board. Whoever worked on it before did not do any cleaning. Okay, the USB-C has been soldered on also by the other person who worked on it. So we do not know if the USB-C port is soldered on properly or not. But what I'm going to do right now is test to make sure everything is good. If not, then I'm going to have to look at this board again. All right, so I put the board back on the console. Big Boss is not in today and it's really hard to work on taking apart and putting back stuff when he's not here. But uh, I put it back and I used our battery just in case. And let's go ahead and test. I mean, I'm very optimistic about this repair and there should be no reason why it would not power on. Okay, plug it in. And yes, it's on and it's charging at 0 0.47 amps. 0 0.47 amps. We should see a charging sign on the screen or something. I do not see anything on the screen. The screen is kind of broken from the front here, but hmm. I mean, right now the console is charging at 0 0.47 at 15 volts, but nothing is showing up on the screen. I think I'll leave this until tomorrow. Big Boss will try another screen. If it does not work, then I may have to go over this chip again. But the chip is soldered. Honestly, the chip is soldered in a better than factory condition. So there is no reason. I'll leave this until tomorrow. Right now it's 6.20. We usually close at 6. It's December 24th. So there is nobody in the streets right now. And I was hopeful that maybe I can finish this video before I go home. But... Uh, it's a no fix as of now. It was an extremely busy day with walk-ins and I barely had time to work on this during the day. I started the repair, then I took like four or five hours doing other stuff and now I finished off with this first motherboard. I'll do the second motherboard tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. That's it, time to go home and I want to wish everybody happy holidays and happy new year. And also we reached 100,000 subscribers today. Actually right now we are at 100. 153. So I want to thank each and every one of you who supported the channel in one way or another. Whether you supported the channel with a simple like, comment, share, or a word of mouth, or you purchased something from our website, or you sent in your device for repair, or whatever the case may be, I want to thank each and every one of you. I could not have done it without you. Today we are at 100,000 subscribers. I did not get any help from anybody to reach the 100,000 subscribers. It's all done with hard work and countless hours posting videos and posting content and sharing knowledge on YouTube. I mean, the number of orders we got yesterday is just overwhelming. And an overwhelming number of the mechanic short detector, the device I worked with yesterday when I was fixing the Asus laptop. I know there are very few people, very few people, who do not like it when we sell stuff. They like to take, but they do not like to give back. Life is all about give and take. I swear, every day, every single day, we get donations where people are just donating and they're not expecting anything in return. They enjoyed the content, they learned something from the content, they know how much time I spend making the content and they just donate for the sake of donating because they enjoyed the channel. Orders for the business is private stuff, but I still want to show it to you. I want to show you the amount of support we get from people buying stuff off our e-commerce website. I mean, this is only, look at this. Look at this. And the list goes on and on and on. People are enjoying the content. You do not know how much time it takes to make the content. You do not know how much time it takes to communicate with companies, factories, to buy stuff and make it possible for you to purchase from our shop here. 
you have very few people, very few people that complains. I can buy it $5 less from AliExpress. I can buy it $3 less from AliExpress. I can buy it $7 less from AliExpress. By all means, you do not want to support the channel, go ahead and buy it from AliExpress. When we post an item on our website, we always offer fair prices, like the Nintendo Switch components that we sell on our website. I think we are the cheapest out there. We are the cheapest out there, whether it's the P13 chip or the, uh, or the T92 chip or the LCD connector or the USB-C port. Our prices are extremely competitive, but some things we do not have control about. For example, the short detector that I spoke about yesterday, and we sold almost all of them. We only have nine left in stock. Uh, when we buy it, we have to take into consideration, we bought it from China. We have to take into consideration that we are paying tax, we are paying shipping, we are paying customs, we are paying credit card fees when you purchase the item. We have store overhead, we are paying for packaging, we are paying for the person who's doing the packaging. I mean, if you count all that in the price, we're really not making much at all. We only make money when we have a lot of orders and thankfully, we are getting a lot of orders on our e-commerce website. I mean, we had a lot of inquiries on our YouTube channel, people asking for the shirts. So we ordered those shirts in many different sizes, small, medium, large, XL, 2XL. Uh, we have this kind here and we have the other kind, which is laid out differently. That one person, when we posted our shirts for sale, he posted a comment saying, why would I wear your shirt? and advertise your YouTube channel. That's not the reason why you are buying the shirt. You are buying the shirt to support the channel. A lot of you know how much time it takes to make those videos while balancing my work and my family and everything else. It's really not easy. And I spend a lot of hours making content, sharing the knowledge. It's okay if you support the channel in one way or the other. It's okay if you buy a shirt. It's okay if I make money on the shirt. It's okay if I make money on whatever I'm selling on the site. Life is all about give and take. It's not only you want to take, but you do not want to give back. You do not always have to buy stuff from us in order to support the channel, but you can support it with word of mouth, with a like, with a comment, with a share, whatever helps the channel. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.